This is a tutorial on contact. This is part of the contact in Elastina course, which is given at elastina-online.com. It's portion of the chapter on automatic single surface. So um, let's say we have Uh, we have two parts. So let's say we have part one and part two and we want uh, part one and four And then we want to use the star contact automatic single surface contact So we have to create a part set. There is the part set and we define uh, The star contact automatic single surface contact by part set definition. So set 99 contains these two parts uh, so uh, I already run it. Let's uh, post process uh, so there is the vehicle part one and part four and we animate we see that contact is uh, engaging uh, properly at least visually uh, let's look at the contact force so we go to the ASCII RC force file and we see that um, it does not have any information as a matter of fact and the reason for that is because for automatic single surface contact we need an additional card in order to obtain the contact forces and that additional card is the following star contact force transducer penalty so star contact force transducer penalty is like a contact however it's not really a contact the definition is like a contact uh, the only thing it does, it simply allows you to define which part you want the contact forces on. So let's say I want the contact force on part one. There it is. So three means one is a part ID. So uh, let's save this and uh, run this one. So normal termination, let's uh, post process. So we see that uh, contact is engaged exactly the same way like before. If we um, look at the RC force file and now we can load it, we'll see there is uh, information in it so uh, select the slave and let's say resultant force and plot so we'll see the contact force is is there uh, one of the things that you also need you need to look at in in the uh, in post processing the contact is uh, contact slide line energy the contact energy or it's called slide line energy is simply the penetration which is calculated at the nodes and the segments multiplied by the forces that we need to remove the penetration so for Sam's penetration has a unit of work we call this contact energy so contact energy we normally look at it in gel stat for example we load this and we look at the slide sliding energy and we plot it and we'll see that it is negative any negative contact energy is indication of interpenetration in your model. So let's examine this further. So if we cut this uh, model in half, so for example, uh, if we go to uh, to element and mesh and we blank portion of this, so let's say we do it by area and we blank like this and we animate but first let's zoom in on this area right here and uh, we animate so done let's animate this so we can see here right here uh, as you can see that's interpenetration in the model and that is the reason that you have a negative uh, contact energy there are several ways in order to uh, solve this uh, problem of a negative contact energy which are discussed basically in uh, in the course